you already know, as one crook check, your one and only Move Swiftly speaker. Checking in for a daily Move Swiftly thought, giving you a perspective on teamwork, excuse me, that you will not get anywhere else. Man, it's been one of those 24 hours, you know. I was, I was on YouTube and I was watching the rumor report from The Breakfast Club and there are so many high profile divorces going on right now that it, it made me feel compelled. I had a completely different thought in mind. And <clears throat> just this morning, as I was thinking about just the whole makeup of it and the, the, the names that they were dropping, the big names that they were dropping and the, the divorces that were hap that are happening or supposedly happening, I don't know, we all, we, know, we all never know the real truth when it comes to those public relationships and shit like that, right? You just never know. But it got me thinking about the concept of marriage, got me thinking about the concept of relationships, it got me thinking about just the entire shebang. And I want to just give you a thought that might clear some things up for you, all right? Why, how do we think about this word? The word that we really need to be thinking about when we're th talking relationships, we're talking marriage, we're talking divorce, whatever it is, talking about the, the perfect couple, whatever it is you're talking about, and there's ton, this, conversation can, this conversation can go in a ton of different directions. The word is commitment. Commitment, commitment, commitment. Did I say it enough? Commitment, commitment, all right? What are you committed to? And I'll give you an example. I was in college and there was a girl that I had already had sex with, right? It was a girl I had already had sex with and I was considering taking it to the next level, right? And I remember there was late one night, late one night, <laughs> and I was with a group of my teammates and I was kinda, we, what we used to do, by the way, is we used to just approach stranger, random, strangers and random women, women that we didn't know, and we just spark up dialogue. That's the way a college campus is. So anyway, we're talking to one of those, that crew, that crew of women, <laughs> all right? Just a stranger, a total group of strangers, a group of friends that we had no idea who they were. And, you know, I was bringing them the scenario that I just brought y'all. I was just like, you know, should I text her? You know, she already let me hit, you know, might might be worth it, this, that, and the third. <laughs> and as I'm explaining the story, one of the girls cuts me off. This is a total stranger. She cuts me off and she goes, see, you're afraid of commitment. You're afraid of commitment. And she just goes on the tangent. I guess the story I was telling just kind of rubbed her the wrong way and shit like that, right? And it got me thinking. The reason I'm bringing all that up is because, again, when you're talking about these things, you have to ask yourself, it's not, and it, all right, well, let me just tell you, it wasn't that I was afraid of commitment. The question was, it's what exactly am I committed to, right? What am I committed to? If she let me hit, if she let me have sex with her within that, for, it was like, I met her on a Monday, we had sex that weekend. If she lets me do that, I'm committed to the sex, not to the person. You see what I'm saying? So it's not that Aslan was afraid of commitment, or maybe it was he was afraid of commitment. He was afraid of being with someone who would let me do that and not actually let me put in some work to be 100% honest with you. So when you're thinking about all of these divorces and you're thinking about all these relationships that are not working out, you gotta ask yourself, what are you committed to? If you wanna use the example of a Tom Brady and a Giselle, he, what is he committed to? He's committed to his game. He's committed to working out with his receivers, building relationships and winning that chip. Again, being the best football player to ever play. He's committed to that. He is, and he was committed to that long before he met her and she was committed to her work too. So the question you gotta ask yourself as you're moving forward in this world is, what am I committed to? And is the person that I'm committed, that I am pursuing or I'm courting, whatever it is, are we, are, is our commitment gonna be able to be a good fit? Because the commitment word is something that's lost. It's, it's kind of lost because we do live in this world that has accepted the casual sex. We've, we've accepted the fact that people cannot be together or live together without being, we, we've, all that shit is accepted, which is completely wrong, but there's nothing you or I can do about it. That's just the way it is, right? Uh, if you have not yet, make sure you, if you listen to this on my podcast, make sure on the Move Swiftly podcast, if you're listening to this on the Move Swiftly podcast, make sure you click that follow button. If you have not yet heard about the Move Swiftly podcast, be sure you do go and subscribe to that. It's available on all streams. I will do a deeper dive on this issue because it's a big one. It's a very, very big and important one. <clears throat> make sure you do go and subscribe to the Move Swiftly podcast. Also, Check out makeyamove.com. That's M A K E Y A M O V E.com. Purchase Make Your, uh, Make Your Move, which is a book of the second book I wrote. The first book I wrote is called Swiftly. Third book is a Move Swiftly coloring book. And the fourth book is The Six Figure Athlete. Make sure you get the whole shebang. I'm actually working on the fifth one as we speak. Any traditional publishers that are listening to this, be sure you get in touch with me on that. 
Also, the most important thing is the, are the ROI hiring seminars and the Move Swiftly workshops, which all can be purchased on makeyourmove.com. As one Crookshank, your one and only Move Swiftly speaker, checking out. You guys continue to move swiftly. We will talk more soon.